cheese pizza rolls? Let's make it. We're gonna start with a large bowl. We need two teaspoons of active dry yeast. Oh, these always look so weird. One. So weird, it like sticks to itself. What the heck? Two. Now we need one teaspoon of olive oil. Wow, it's pouring so slowly. One teaspoon of olive oil. We need three quarter cups of water. One half teaspoon of sugar. And a quarter cup of milk. Some fresh milk. We're gonna whisk. Ugh. We need three cups of flour. Three. And a pinch of salt. Once again, we're gonna give it a good whisk. Once it starts forming a dough-like consistency, we're gonna roll our sleeves up and we're gonna dig in. Just want to mix until we got one big ball of dough. Very sticky. This is gonna be our pizza dough. So I've got it in a ball right now. I'm gonna put it right inside this bowl and we're gonna let it rise. While that's going, we're gonna chop up some tomatoes. We're gonna take one medium bowl, one cup of mozzarella, two cups of mozzarella, one cup of cream cheese. Ooh, nice. One cup of chopped tomatoes some basil leaves if I can open it. Oop, that's wrong. Just a little bit of that. I genuinely feel like this cream cheese was supposed to be softened, but it didn't say that. I'm gonna heat this up real quick. Be right back. I'm back. Oh yeah, that's way better. So there's a step, guys, that was missing in the instructions. We add softened cream cheese to this mixture. You're gonna wanna add salt and pepper to taste. I always accidentally add too much salt, so we're just gonna add a little bit. And some pepper. Oh, see, I'm really glad I had my hand there because that caught a lot of it. Oh, I might be sneezing soon. Oh my goodness. I added in a lot of pepper. We're gonna set that aside. All right, this dough has been resting and rising for about 30 minutes. We're gonna take some flour and just kind of flour our surface. I have a little pizza dough mat. We are now gonna divide this into eight pieces. All right, now we have eight individual little pieces of dough. We're gonna lightly flatten them. All right. Now comes the fun part. We are gonna take a spoonful or two and we're just gonna place it in here. And we're going to roll up this dough around it. Like that. We got a baking pan. We're gonna take these little pizza dough balls and just kinda place them all over. We're gonna take one egg. Oh, I did it. We're gonna whisk and we're going to paint the egg onto our pizza dough balls. This is just gonna help it get a golden brown look. And now for the last and final step, we're going to take some oregano. We're gonna sprinkle it on top of our pizza dough balls. Give it a little bit of a pizza crust flavor. Let me know if you like pizza crust. I grew up not liking it, and to this day, I still don't really eat it. But I know some people who, that's like their favorite part of the pizza. All right. I think these are ready to go in the oven. We are gonna bake these for 30 minutes in the oven. Oh my gosh, that looks amazing. Oh my gosh, these look so good. Yes. All right, let's see if it looks the same. Okay, not as chewy and gooey, but let's see if it tastes as good. Mm. This. I might would have added more tomatoes, but this is really good. I'll give it, I'll give it a seven out of 10. Delicious. 